Oh. Oh snap. We're back with the other Marvel Snap video as today, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're gonna showcase the Wong combo. And no, we did not buy the 100 euro <laughs> bundle. We uh we actually chose self-respect over that, but I wanted to showcase a Surfer Wong deck because uh, a few days ago we had the Utopia location being released. In case you don't know, Utopia is a location that says that your three cost and four cost cost one less. So I wanted to make a really, really greedy, really greedy Silver Surfer Wong combo deck that was able to just absolutely vomit out obscene amounts of points at turn six. This is not a new archetype by any means, but it is my approach at it as I decided to go all in with the cost reduction because Mobius does not exist, am I right? We have Zabu, we have Ravona Renslayer, and we have Sarah. Ravona Renslayer throws people off, but it is there to reduce the cost of Ironheart and Mystique. This may not seem like much, but it's actually extremely relevant to being able to essentially drop Wong alongside Mystique and an on-reveal effect all at the same time on turn six which allow you to dodge uh disruption you know like magneto cosmo Elioth. you can navigate around those things by essentially uh saving up your points or your plays for the very last turn and the deck is designed to do that while still enabling us to have early game plays because if you look at our deck we have ironheart mystique silver surfer we have wong we have shang chi and even the likes of absorbing man even though absorbing man can be played after brood on turn four for the most part these cards that i just mentioned are going to be played on the last turn of the game so you don't really want to be developing them on curve except for like i said uh the the scenario in which you play Brood on turn three and Absorbing Man on turn four. Uh, this means that our our deck is very like limited in, in regards to early plays, but we do have them. We have Zabu uh, and Ravona Renslayer, which you play on two. We can develop Brood or Gladiator on three. We could follow that up with an Absorbing Man, or we could just build up for a Sarah on turn five, in which we just burst on the opponent. So there's just tremendous ceilings that we can reach english with this deck which is why we're even though we're running stuff like shang chi a lot of times we just uh, focus on outpointing the opponent because we are very much capable of doing that any deck combining wong and mystique can just out muscle most other builds if you are able to set it up as uh, the likes of Ironheart and uh, Silver Surfer can just net you tremendous points. And the same goes for Medusa. Medusa seems like a bit of a random card here, but Medusa serves the purpose of giving us a two drop that we can develop on curve, giving us a lot of great points by playing her in the middle. But Medusa can also be developed onto a Wong Mystique lane for a total of 14 points. With a Sarah on board, that'll be one energy for 14 points in the middle, which is why we do not want to develop cards generally in the middle location. We want to leave the middle location open, clean, without any noise in it, and developing our uh, brood and you know our other proactive plates on the flanks. Keeping space for a brood if you don't find them on curve. Make sure that you don't want to you know crowd up the, uh, the the two locations on the sides, uh, so you have enough space to get brood and get the full value out of the card. So keep that in mind. As yeah, Zabu into Sarah makes our Wong, Shang-Chi, and Absorbing Man cost two energy. Sarah makes our three cost cost two energy. And Ravona Renslayer takes a couple of those three drops and makes them cost even less at one. So this deck doesn't really need Utopia to pop off. But obviously, if Utopia flips over, then you're you're good to go, baby. So yeah, it's it really is. Uh, that's what the deck is. Keep the, the middle location clear. And then, you know, Wong Mystique into like Ironheart into Medusa. That's a very good end game play that is possible with something like Ravona and Sarah without even Zabu. That's that's why this deck is structured the way it is because we don't need Zabu and Ravona Renslayer alongside Sarah. But if we get to play one of them alongside Sarah, then we just absolutely pop off. And uh, yeah, I've seen a lot of Silver Surfer decks and, you know, more consistent, more standard variants, you know, with like Nova and Killmonger and the likes. Uh, but this one is 
So it's really spicy, and I think it does have more power output, and I'm excited to share it with you guys. And I'm gonna stop rambling at this point, so yeah, one of my shortest deck techs ever, but honestly, it's, it's an established archetype, and this happens to be my take on it, and I got some pretty spicy games for you guys today. And uh, yeah, this, this deck got me climbing like crazy. Like, this deck got me climbing like 200 ranks or something like that. This is essentially the deck that got me into top 300, which is where I'm, I'm roaming in right now. And it's definitely, um, you know, a worthy combo deck. The wall combo! Because I'm 12. <laughs> To, uh, to try out. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for daily Marvel Snap content. Hope you enjoy today's games. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Guys, you're, you're, getting, you're getting the emote wrong. It's lives from based. Idiots. I don't need more than one Ravona. I'm gonna play Ravona here. Hmm. I have initiative, so even if they have a really a reality stone, they they can't apply it. to counter my Wong here. I'm gonna play Wong and I'm gonna get another Wong. Well, fuck you guy. I got my Wong before you can do anything, bitch. It's better than one Wong, two. Asteroid M is gonna make this really wacky, but I think we can pull it off. We have to play Zabu just for stats, which is kind of like depressing, but it is what it is. I'm just going to play... Z like, I want initiative, so I don't die to, like, uh... So I don't die to, like, an Elias. So we play, we play Zabu on that side. And then we Iron Heart. There we go. And then we play Blem Brud. And we Surf. Is that correct? With Silver Surfer here, we push like Silver Surfer is, is 10 points. 10 points in the mid. Yeah, we have a huge lead here. Surf's up, baby. That's a lot of points. Oh, Shang-Chi. You have no targets. Problem. I, I go all in on War Machine there. TLDR. No! Yes. <laughs> nice. Um, let's uh, let's hold on to our brood. You know, we're we're not in a hurry. Okay, so we still want to keep the, the middle. Because of Medusa, we want to keep the middle clear. The throne room. Where are we placing the Zabu? I think we're going to place the Zabu in the throne room for now. No, we're going to place the Zabu in Sokovia. Let's get a little bit of points in Sokovia. Dracula over there. Um, Dracula th throne room can be very difficult to beat. So 
So maybe that's the location that I, I bail on. I could develop Brood now, but when I play Sarah, like everything is going to be so cheap. That I'm going to snap with that. And I, I'm going to play Ravona Renslayer here. Like Ravona Renslayer is actually kind of pointless. Because, uh, because Utopia and Sarah will already get me there. More swarms. I don't see myself like playing Brood on this location. So I'm going to drop Sarah here. Ugly ass Modoc. Oh, well, they, they they got swarms and helicarrier. So no, okay, Dracula. Wait, they got one card out of Dracula. Oh, that Dracula is no longer that much of a threat. I think then, unless they high rolled with it. Surely not. Uh, fuck me, no Wong. No Wong. How do I do this? How do I reach these geeds? Shit. Okay, I can I can brood into Absorbing Man. Absorbing Man gives me four points here. That's twelve points. Twelve points. No wait. I have to I have to brood into Absorbing Man here because that's twelve points here, and that gives me a chance. I can go Medusa here. And then I go Gladiator into Mystique. And we have to we have to rely on Gladiator to win here. It's an L. I mean I mean keep in mind that they just discarded a bunch of swarms and, and the helicarrier. So they got a random card out of helicarrier, and then they didn't draw a card. So I feel like Gladiator could could low-key win this in, in, in that side. And then 12 points, 17 points beats two swarms there. I think this could take it. Omega lol. Omega lol. Oh. Omega. Lol. Oh. -oh. Victory. I've never been more pissed of like seeing a quarter. <laughs> All right, Nerf Blob. What are you playing, Thanos? You, you, your name is Nerf Blob, but you're playing Thanos? No respect. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the Wong hand. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, wait, no, no, I, I, oh, no, I just, I looked at his deck before, and it's not even 12. 12 isn't even the Thanos number. Uh, guys, ignore what I said. Um, it's not a Thanos deck. Like, Onslaught Citadel on the mid, they're a discard deck with little interaction. Like, this game is over. What do we get? Eh, but that's, that could be decent. Guys, I kind of have to play this now. They're going to run. They're totally going to run. Let's get a little bit of initiative first, though, huh? How do we do that, though, without, like, ruining our combo? Ah, fuck it. It's a discard deck. They, they, don't, they don't have anything. They just do their own thing. Because, you know, they think they can do a million points and get away with it, but... Ba -da 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 -da.
Omega lol. So I'm going to I'm going to play I'm going to sequence like this. Because this will give me initiative. Leave it for a while. Isn't that the biggest Ravona you've ever seen? Isn't that? Now we can Zabu or we can just wait and just drop Gladiator immediately, get some information on them. Um, the thing about Brood and Grand Central, let's go Gladiator here. Let's get some intel on what their deck is about. Oh, collect this. <laughs> oh shit. That was, that was 10 points for them on turn two. <laughs> like you're you're gonna you're gonna have use for him for sure like good card ladies and gentlemen we have zabu and ravona renslayer this is exactly the kind of game in which they play mobius Guys, maybe they don't have Mobius, but they have Sunspot with cloning bots. That's that's legit. That's legit, but they that may that may give them a sense of confidence. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna ask Chad. Chad, for today's thumbnail, who should be in front? Cannonball or Man Thing? Okay, put man thing. Man thing in front? Mm, we got Ravona Mystique. We just need that Wong, baby. We just need that Wong. I'm gonna Zabu. I should have. It's fine. Oh, 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 come on. Dick.
Cyclops, not enough. I hate this. Can you pull my Zabu? Oh no, 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 God, no, this is bullshit! I was told that Shang-Chi was at least 13 points, dude! Fucking lied to, man. I'm so sick of this. Okay, um, you're snapping before the expansion. I mean, I can't blame you. Um, I'm gonna play Wong here because maybe I get an on reveal effect. Guys, I'm gonna get an on reveal card. I'm, I'm not running. I'm not running. Come on, on reveal effect. On reveal effect. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Uh, that's not that that that's not that's not what I wanted. Oh my God, you're just filling my deck with fucking trash. What? Oh Jesus Christ. Okay. Um. Shit. All right. It's not panic. God, we have so much filth in our deck now. I should have specified a little bit more. Hmm. Guys, what if I mill them? What if I mill them, guys? I think at this point we gotta yolo it a little bit. We may be helping them. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, well, that's 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 pretty good. Um, okay, uh, can we win though? Oh dear God, can we win? Uh, they have a titanium. Wait, they have a titanium there. Wait, they have a uh, titan- um, and they, they actually cannot play anything. Oh my god. Wait, it's still turn five. I just realized it's fucking turn five. <laughs> Victory. I thought it was turn- it's still fucking turn five, dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, I think it's actually a good card. Well, brood, the dad, the dad dies, but his children thrive in that's domain. So good location for us, unless we're facing destroy. I know, I know, I know it's something that happens once in a full moon, but we are facing a card that benefits destroy, uh, a location that benefits destroy decks, guys. Crazy, I know, but it's... You'd be surprised at how many locations benefit destroy. Probably think I'm full of shit, but... Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man, that is so tempting. That is so freaking tempting. I think I'm literally just gonna play this Absorbing Man. Just to draw. Actually, no. Actually, we play Brood here, and then we absorb Man on the, on the left, of course. Uh, mm, snap of that. There's your boy.
Nice kitty pride, bruh. Watch me care. Play Elias. <laughs> no. Victory. <laughs> why not Loki? You can play him on curve too. Why? Why not? Wait, I I, I lost my train of thought because I, I I see it's X Mansion. And I always get a little bit nervous with X Mansion. So I want to play Gladiator. To um, I'm going to play Gladiator in X Mansion because I want to keep this open for like Brood. And I want to scout to see what they have. Okay, okay. Nice alive, bro. Nice alive. Because of New York, we can actually develop in the middle and not worry too much about it. I think for now, though, we just play Ravona, and uh, we're gonna we're gonna snap because we just took away their alive. So that's that's it. That's our counterplay. Their counterplay is out, and we have Shang Chi, and we have Sarah. And I'm totally not going to pick up a MODOK here or something. What a game. I, I hope, I hope that is not a precursor to something bad happening, Deadpool. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, no 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 more location disruption. We're good. Ladies and gentlemen, we're good. Oh my god, collector Deadpool synergy. Now we Sarah. Que será será. Here we go. How about a mystique top deck, huh? That'd be sweet. Give it to me. Actually we probably don't need it. We have we have the end game here. They could like, they could like not play something in the middle, which would allow them to preserve initiative over us. Okay, so we need to just straight up outmuscle them. So Mystique, you're a godsend. You're an actual literal godsend here. Boom, 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 boom. Let's send it. The Wong play. Let's get it.
Double on the middle, baby. Look at that raw power. Look at that raw power. Ah! Beat Dust. See about that. What you got for me, Willis? 14 points, 12 points on the right. Adorabra. Adorabra. Patheticus. Do we play Medusa on curve here? Nah. I should have played Medusa on curve here. You're, you're like the SpongeBob theme. You're, you're like, you're just like sitting on your table with your 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 hands crossed like this, you know, with your coffee, and you're just you're just you're just silently waiting until a moment where I snap, and then I get my ass kicked, and then you're like, <laughs> snap, snap, and then you just go back to this. Like that's that's how I see it. Okay. No, no, my Ravona! Oh, okay, my Iron Heart is no longer Ravonable. But it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so if we're gonna play, if we have the Avengers compound, we actually want to develop onto, onto it. To uh, pair with our <laughs> no! Okay, whatever. Uh, we're gonna play Ravon on the left. I don't care, guys. You see me caring? I, I don't. I don't care. Mobius wouldn't do anything anyways. Um, what? By the way, Mobius might be a good addition during this location. Uh, your boy just discovered America, guys. You snap on me. We'll see. I have a decent play here. Like if Zori Man into Medusa is is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> 